Welcome to Iron and Arrows. Okay, so I'm working on my Ford Expedition. There are other videos that I'm going to be putting up um, as well. Um, in the process of working on the Expedition, I needed to remove the roller followers, which was easy. You can do it with basically just a screwdriver. They pop right out. Um, but to put them back in, I saw a video where somebody put them back in without using um, the special tool, which is basically this tool right here. Um, and this slides underneath the camshaft like this. And then this goes on top of the valve spring like that. And and this part here goes up on top and screws down and this compresses the valve spring down so that you can get the roller followers back in um, but in the process of putting these in without this special tool which I got on Amazon for about hundred twenty dollars after I realized that I had actually broken the um, end of my valve here um, this is the exhaust valve. It broke off, um, so which means I had to pull the head. As you can see, the head is sitting here, um, and then I needed to get a new valve, which I purchased from Rock, um, Rock Auto um, Auto Supplies, and actually took two days to get here, so it was really good. Um, didn't pay for any kind of shipping. And so I did a lot of research and people are saying you need some kind of compression tool. So I bought this um, universal compression tool. But the problem is that the valve springs are too small for this compression tool. I didn't want to spend a few hundred dollars on a compression tool that would actually work for this. So what I did was I took the tool that I got so I could put the roller followers in, was able to press down on the valve spring to the point where I could get one of the keepers in and then all I did was took a flathead screwdriver standard flathead screwdriver and it would only go in on one side because the valve spring compressor is on this um this valve spring compressor for the roller followers only presses it down so far and it cantilevers um, towards where the actual part of the tool is so I put the one in and it got stuck in there and I couldn't figure out what to do and then after a while revelation light went on I took the um, screwdriver and I pushed the one all the way around to the part where it wouldn't it was cantilevered towards the valve um, so then I got that keeper in and then I was able to easily slide in the other um, keeper on the other side which is where it was cantilevered towards so it's got more space there and then I was able to release the pressure on the spring and um, and as you can see the new valve is in there with um, um, the keepers that are right there there's one on that side and one on the other so that's a way you're gonna need this tool anyway even if someone says you don't need this tool you're gonna need this tool um, and I'll put a link to the tool below. I've also got another video where I demonstrate how to use this tool to put the roller followers in. Um, please don't trust other videos to say you can do it without it. Um, some of these guys are seasoned mechanics and they've been able to do things that we home mechanics just probably shouldn't be doing. And so um, I was trying to be cheap so I didn't buy this tool. It's 120 bucks on Amazon. Um, it's for a 5.4. I have a 2009 Ford Expedition and it works really well. I was able to put all of the roller followers in on the um, passenger side of my vehicle, which is the right side of my vehicle. And once I get this head in place, um, which I bought new bolts for, a new gasket for, um, and everything so that I can put it in place the way it is. I'm going to get it all cleaned up. I'm going to put it back in there and then I'm going to go ahead and finish up so I just wanted to let you know that that um, this tool will do more than just put the roller followers in but you got to get a little creative with it so if you're looking for advice on that I couldn't find anything on how to get this particular valve spring in without buying the expensive tool I just figured that out on my own so 
Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.